I've been traveling Kenya over the past five years and during that time I've stayed at some of the best hotels in the country. So in this video I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 favorite places to stay at in Kenya. So with no particular order let's get started with number one which is Leopard Point Hotel. Located in Malindi this hotel has this Bali meets Santorini vibe. It's actually made up of a couple of villas but you can book single rooms too. The rooms have this spa vibe to them and each villa has its own pool and then there's a common pool too. I love the overall setup and the aesthetic of the place. Also, it's at the edge of a cliff surrounded by ocean. The food served here is from an a la carte menu and the food's really amazing. The hotel is known for its world-class spa, so if I were you, I'd book a massage here. By the way, I'm going to link every hotel that I'm talking about in the description box below in case you want to make a booking. Some of the places you'll get a discount if you mention my name, others I'll just make a commission on top at no extra cost to you guys, so it'll be a huge support to the channel if you follow those links below. Thank you! Alright, next up is Hildana Lodge. A hidden gem nestled in a place called Voi. It's a boutique lodge that's been set up on a 5,000 acre plot of land. I think they just have 8 rooms. Now that's exclusive. The rest of the land has all been reserved for wildlife. Among a lot of other reasons why this place is on this list, my favorite reason is this right here. There's a watering hole at the foot of the lodge which you can view from the deck or from the infinity pool and every day hundreds of animals come here to drink water because Voi is generally a dry area. First of all, that's a huge service to all the animals here which I highly respect. And second, when we were here there was always an elephant or a herd taking mud baths and it was just so nice relaxing and watching them be. The lodge has this unique Arabic and Greek style interior. The rooms are massive. I always had a bathtub with a really nice view. The beds were so comfy. And I think that's really important, especially when you're doing game drives during your stay. The walk to the room from the reception is also super fun through the rustic forest. Oh, and the service here. Man. From the moment you arrive, you're welcomed with open arms. I honestly felt like I was staying at a home away from home. The food here was quite exceptional. It's all served as a set menu and was some of the best I've had at a lodge. Besides game drives, they offer a tour of their sisal farm, which is the largest in East Africa. And you can do sundowners at different spots on the land with views that will blow your mind. Man. I miss this place. If you want to watch my full experience at the hotels that I've mentioned in this video then I'll link them all in the description box below. Make sure to watch them after you finish watching this video. Welcome to Forodani House. This is a 5 bedroom villa located in Lamu and oof man. Where do I even start? Think of Santorini, but in Africa. This house is exactly that. It's perfectly located by the beach. Like, just look at these visuals. I think it just speaks for itself. It's a three-story house that's got almost a 270 degree view of the ocean. Almost every room has a view of the sea. There's so many cool lounging spots. The pool is beautiful. This is the perfect place for a family celebration or for a group of friends. The house comes with an amazing service team. The chef made for us our meals, but we also ate most of our meals from the surrounding restaurants. They also offer free transfers from the airport and a Dow cruise when you stay there, which is the most magical thing you can do when you're in Lamu. I thoroughly enjoyed the vibe of this house and I'd go back in a heartbeat if given the chance. Basically, hit that subscribe button or that like button so that I can afford to stay there again. Next up is the Majlis Hotel, still here in Lamu and this was actually the first hotel that I ever collaborated with when I first started my YouTube channel. And it's literally the reason why I still do what I do till today. It's a luxury hotel and when you're here, prepare to live like a king. From the airport transfers to the rooms, the food and the amenities, everything here screams luxury. The hotel is located on a slice of one of the islands right by the beach which has the finest sand and beautiful water. The Majlis has this villa style setup with so many different types of rooms and I even got a chance to stay in their presidential suite for a night and for someone who was staying at a luxury resort for the first time, my mind was blown. The architecture is this Swahili Arabian mix with a modern touch. There's multiple pools where you can swim or relax by. Staying here has this castaway feel but in paradise. There's three restaurants and four bars all serving amazing food and drink and their pizzas are just mwah. My favorite thing about the hotel is the number of different excursions they offer. Paddle boarding, kayaking through mangroves, Dow cruises, the Lamu Town tour and so many more. Honestly when you're here, you have it all. I highly recommend. Next on the list, we're heading to the famous Masai Mara. Now this place reignited my love for safari and wildlife. It's called the spirit of the Masai Mara. The reason I love this place is because of the unique ideas they've brought to the experience of being on safari. But let's first start with the warm Maasai welcome you receive when you get to the lodge. 
then the luxurious rooms built in huts. What I loved was the ceiling to floor windows that give you access to the beautiful views of all the hills that surround you. And the lodge isn't fenced so you'll find giraffes or impalas moving about in the distance. There's also a bathtub with a view. Honestly, I see this place as the perfect romantic getaway. They serve set menus and the food is quite nice. But now we get to the fun part. You can go on a regular safari or you can drive the safari vehicle yourself with a guide. Then they offer the chance to play golf in the wild at the edge of a cliff. There's a man-made map of Africa at the base with a hole, looks so cool and the goal is to hit a hole in one. Man, it's so much fun. You can do a nature walk, a Maasai village tour and here's an interesting one. You can play badminton with Maasai's. I know, right? <laughs> There's also a small zipline for kids, but let's be honest, I didn't pass up the opportunity because I'm old. Finally, the cherry on the cake of the experience is the sundowners and bonfires they set up in the conservancy. Imagine sitting out in the wild, having a drink, watching the sunset while giraffes and buffaloes are walking right beside you. And for the bonfires, first of all, the views. Then the Maasai's roasted some fresh goat leg for us over the fire. As we ate, they performed their traditional dances for us. It was awesome. Now it's time to head to the capital of Kenya, Nairobi. This place is really unique. In fact, it's known to be the most Instagram property in all of Africa. Now the food here is great. The service is exceptional. The beds are comfy. The interior screams royalty. But let's face it, you don't really care about all that. Unless you actually do. And I just came across as an... Anyways, the main reason you're here is for this. Giraffes walking about in your backyard that you get to interact with and feed while you're staying here. When you wake up in the morning, they're there to enjoy breakfast with you or enjoy your breakfast for you. During high tea is another opportunity to hang out with these beautiful creatures. But honestly speaking, besides hanging out with the giraffes, the experience of staying here was really good. This house, no matter where I point my camera, it just screams royalty. I loved all the meals we were served, plus you can have any drink you want at any time, all included in the price that you pay for staying here. The night ambience is so cozy and I just have to say, look at this bathroom. Now this place here is the definition of secluded. It's located in Diani, this is Villa Callista. Six villas, each with three bedrooms and this villa has this Greek vibe to it. I think the number of times I've mentioned Greek interior, maybe that's what I love about these hotels. Greek interior. So the interior design is tasteful, the views are incredible and the master bedroom has a jacuzzi. The beach here is really nice, white soft sand, blue ass water and no beach boys to disturb you. I went here during the rainy season and I still had such an incredible time but I hope to be back here when the sun is shining 24-7. The villas have fully equipped kitchens but I went with their full boat package which by the way has a ton of food options on their menu and their food was phenomenal. I also got one of the best massages here that was set up in my villa or you can have it done at their spa. There's a nice long pool where you can do a bunch of laps if that's what you're into. Overall, great vibe. We're back again in Malindi in what I could best describe as home away from home. This is Cozy Point Home. This house is more of a feeling than anything else. The moment you walk into the space, it feels like the world has been lifted off your shoulders. Like, I don't know what magic they've done with this place, but it's true. Then you have your host Sabina who makes your experience here a good balance between staying at a hotel and being at home. Every time I visit, Sabina plans surprise excursions to different hidden gems in Malindi, like the time she showed us this cool beach club or took us to Kenya's version of the Grand Canyon. Every night she'll set up the dinner table in the fanciest and coolest way. I really admire their creativity and the food is awesome. The first night we had fresh caught fish, not so sure what this one is called and the next night we had fresh pizzas followed by authentic Italian dishes with music playing in the background. The experience of being here is honestly just everything. You can find a lot of zen here, we did yoga, I learned how to handstand which is really cool. But for the material aspect, the house has all the hotel amenities, AC, a pool, comfortable beds, lounge spots, amazing interior, what more could you ask for? Next up, we're gonna experience what winter would be like if we had winter in Kenya. Actually, now looking at the weather, it's winter everywhere. This place is called Panari Resort in Nyahururu. It's about two hours away from Nairobi, great for a staycation. The resort has this interesting British regal setup, houses on nicely manicured lawns. You've got the regular basics of a hotel, but the experience is quite unique. 
First of all, it's built at the edge of a cliff next to the tallest waterfall in Kenya. And secondly, Nyahururu is quite cold compared to other parts of Kenya, hence the winter experience. So it would be a nice getaway with your significant other to cuddle up with next to the fireplace in the rooms. I liked the bathroom, the showers have this vintage aesthetic and for the cold, the hot pressure of the water was just mwah. They also have these cool electric golf cart kind of cars that they take you around the resort with. Super fun. It was really nice hiking to the base of the waterfall and they also took us to this place where we trekked to find elephants. That's the closest I've been to wild elephants. It was pretty exhilarating. There's a gym and spa here, there's an entire helipad and their restaurant serves some really good food. The Indian food was really really nice. And finally I had to save the best for last which is this place right over here, Shraddha House. I mean you guys know I had to mention it. It's a unique tiny home that I built in Karen, Nairobi. It's a perfect spot for a staycation with your significant other. The house is secluded and surrounded by beautiful nature. When you're here, I promise it feels nothing short of tranquility. The interior is beautiful and cozy. It's got a fully equipped kitchen. There's tons of restaurants nearby. Or you could just order your food over in case you want to make the most of your stay here. The house is next to most of the tourist attractions in Nairobi. Also, it's on a farm so you can pick fresh vegetables. There's cute chickens to look at and there's actually a lamb that's crying way in the distance over there like it's super cool what wouldn't you love about this place and that guys concludes some of my favorite places to stay at while you're in Kenya again if you want to book some of these places make sure to follow the links in the description box below thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful make sure to hit that like button and if you're new here consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next one